What's up YouTube? Welcome back, JDS Outdoors. John here. In today's video, we're working on the 10-footer again. Um, it's been about a week since I put out a video or so, and let me show you why. So since the last video, I went ahead and finished welding the inside of the boat and the outside of the boat. And then I also went ahead and ground all of the welds on the outside. Now the reason for that is the inside welds are the fillet welds. Those are the ones for strength. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with this bolt yet, whether it be paint or wrap. But I do know that I want this edge on all these edges to be nice, crisp, clean lines for whatever we do to give it the best look. Uh, I did do a little bit of filming on, on that. So let me show you uh, the process and what I did to get to this point. So after all that, this is what we're left with. Fairly decently clean lines. So now it's time to start working on the bow. And here is what I come up with. So I put that tread plate up on the front and I added a little support piece down here at the bottom. And right now it's just tacked in place. So initially, I had planned on adding a winch to the front of this boat. And after playing with that idea and putting the winch inside and seeing how it all fit, it's just got to be set too far back in the bow for it to really make sense. And also, the only way that the fair lead could come out would be about right in this area, and it'll look kind of stupid. And also, when you're winching, you don't want to be pulling the bow down. You want to be pulling it up. So ideally, you want to put the fair lead right in this area. But we don't want to do that on this because this, uh, this boat's going to be a little heavy and it's kind of small. So we'll save the winch idea for the next boat because I do want to build another one of these, but I want to build like a 15-footer. So if you want to see that, all the support I need is just you guys watching the video. So keep doing that. And we'll get to that project eventually. So, let's go ahead and start making the dash piece and go from there.
So here's my thought on a dash. I'm going to have that piece, the dash, smooth up top. And this piece is going to be flush with this corner here. And uh, obviously everything will be mounted onto that. Um, the windshield is going to come straight across right here. And then also down the side a little bit so it'll cover that gap up. Um, let's go grab the driver's seat and see if this is enough space and if it's comfortable. So let's go grab her. Let's get in it and see how it fits. Well, I think that piece was a waste. So let's go ahead and trim this piece up a little bit more so it fits better. And we'll get that mounted in. It's just too, it was too tight to hit your knees. And I'm kind of a small guy. So to get a bigger person in here, it just, just wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and mount this in like that. And we'll dress this up a little later, maybe utilizing some of this other piece that we cut. So let's go ahead and get this attached. Well, you know what they say, things never go quite as fast as what you would think they're going to go and hope they're going to go. But we got a nice dash installed now. 
and the bow cap is installed. Then I went ahead and smoothed out the top because we're trying to make this, like I said earlier in the video, a nice crisp lined edge. So if we wrap it or end up uh, painting it, it looks the best it can look. So definitely liking the way this is looking. Now it's time to start doing the windshield, which we're going to do a nice tall removable windshield and it's going to have a little triangle piece that comes out right here and then go up, I don't know, yay high or so, 16, 18 inches maybe. But we'll get that part figured out here shortly. Just wanted to show off the dash and the bow. Ah, this thing's looking sweet. I think I'm going to cut this video a little short. I'm sure it's probably long enough already. Getting this whole thing ground and cleaned up and welded. Definitely not a quick process. So if you want to see what the windshields are going to actually look like, promise you, the next video, we will have a windshield. So, thank you for all the continued support. It's very much appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching JDS Outdoors.